Hello, this is Richard Wilson. I want to create this short video on how family offices are investing in emerging fund managers. Um, I have a video on what is a family office, so please go watch that video first if you haven't watched it yet or if you're confused by the term. Emerging managers are fund managers, investment fund managers with under $100 million in assets. So how are these family offices investing in emerging managers? Well, there's multiple ways. There's actually four specific ways. The first way is through kind of a core satellite model where their core assets are maybe in larger hedge fund managers, ETFs, stocks. That might make up 85% and 95% of their core portfolio. And then they might have 5 to 15% of their portfolio, um, a satellite portion of their portfolio, a small part of it, investing in emerging hedge fund man managers, emerging uh, CTA managers, etc. And the reason they do this is that they see emerging managers as being able to outproduce uh, in terms of uh, their returns uh, versus more established managers are more hungry to succeed. But there's also a bit more business risk and uh, style drift risk sometimes within emerging managers. Uh, maybe they won't be well capitalized enough, maybe they'll lose a key team member because uh, there's not enough assets there to really keep them incentivized to stay. So there's some more risk, but there's some possible return there as well. So the core satellite is one way that family offices invest in emerging managers. Another way is through fund of funds. Either they invest in a fund of fund that invests in emerging managers, or many family offices run their own fund of fund after gaining internal skills and capabilities and selecting great emerging managers. Uh, the last two ways are through seeding and risk capital. Traditional seeding is where a family office would give an emerging manager, say, 20, 30, 50 million dollars and take a percentage ownership in the management company of that hedge fund or in part of their structure in some way. Um, sometimes they'll ask for discounted fees um, instead or as part of that, and the negotiations are all over the place because nowadays managers are so hungry for capital, they have almost no negotiating power. If somebody wants to put in seed capital, you basically ask what they want in return, and uh, there's not much negotiating going on. It's usually yes or no. Um, on the risk capital side, what happens is it's sometimes referred to as seed capital, but risk capital is a bit different. Uh, when a family office or an investment group provides you with risk capital, oftentimes it's a model where, let's say you have $10 million in assets, and you really wish you could get up to, you know, say past $15 million. Well, with risk capital, you could take your $10 million, and if you have your own capital of a million, say, in your own fund, your own hedge fund, say, you could take that million, put it in a separate account, this risk capital group will match your one million with nine million of their own. So you have 10 million total in that separate account and you still have nine million over in the original account. So that's 19 million total. You're now above that 15 million mark, which maybe an investor said, well, once you get to 15 million, come back to me and I'll put in another 500K or another million. So that might help you get to that next level. The important thing to realize with risk capital is that every agreement is different. So you have to read every single word and know whether the agreement is right for you. Oftentimes, if your strategy is very volatile, it could not be right for you. But you have to look at what the terms are of the specific risk capital agreement that you get put in front of you. And also, you should know that oftentimes what happens is if your volatility is high, maybe you go down 7% one day, there might be a clause in the contract where the trading is cut off. That 7% of the $10 million comes out of your million dollars and the risk capital provider can take back their full nine million incurring no losses and you take all the losses. That's why it's called risk capital. It can be helpful for some managers, but you know it's not right for every single person out there um, or every single fund manager out there, but it is good to be aware of it. So those are the four main ways that family offices are investing in emerging managers. Uh, the core satellite portfolio way, uh, the core satellite portfolio way, the fund to fund method, seeding, and risk capital. This is Richard Wilson, coming from Zurich, Switzerland, and I'll talk to you soon.